You know, quite frankly, so far, I like Kamala Harris personality-wise as much as I did Obama. And it seems the DNC has Kamala Harris in their sights for 2020. Um, she's just she's just very likable. Uh, the times that she laughs, the reasons for her laughing, the way that she responds, she's very down to earth, but also very firm and very blunt. Um, I like her. And I know the Young Turks and a number of other people don't like her that much. I think there's some sort of a uh, there's some sort of controversy about uh, her and Bernie Sanders um, that I haven't looked too much into. But regardless of those things, I seem to like her. I think she would have a very good chance of, of beating Trump in 2020. Now, it might not be Trump that she'd be beating, it would be Pence that she'd be beating. Or maybe if Pence gets uh, gets impeached, it'll be someone else. But uh, one of the things I just didn't like about Hillary, regardless of the email scandal, regardless of, uh, oh, people will say Benghazi, regardless of what was in some of the emails, I didn't like Hillary. She's totally not down to earth. She's on her her own. She's in her own little world in her own little bubble. The things that she laughs at are just like, wow, that's kind of sick. Um, the way she responds to things, I, I just no. I don't like Hillary, but I still voted for her in the final election because I I didn't I I can't stand Trump. <laughs> There's, I mean, personality-wise, a Trump has the, the personality of a of a diarrhea turd, you know. Or you know, constipated diarrhea, you know. It's a, like a big butt plug followed by all liquid, right? That's that's Trump's personality. And the people that he surrounds himself are about as as turdish. And his policies and, and the kind of policies his cabinet members support. Just fucking just, you know, I, I can't wait to see that flushed. I think Kamala Harris has a good chance of beating Trump in 2020. That's if she really is the candidate. I hope she is. Um... It shouldn't be about. It shouldn't be all about a personality. But presidential uh, campaigns, presidential debates, presidential selections are all about a big popularity contest. The only good thing I can say about Trump is that he's thrown a wrench in the government enough that everyone's actually paying attention to what the government is doing. And that's a good thing that we're paying attention. It is. It's something we should have been doing the whole time. But I guess it takes a, a really awful president for us to finally do that. So let's see what happens. Um, I think I still think it sucks that the DNC ruined it for Bernie. But. You know, they, they have uh, someone they set their sights on, and that's going to be, you know, the candidate, regardless of what the people want. So if Kamala ends up being their choice, hey, I, I, I can be okay with that. How about you?